Hey guys, a couple weeks ago when we broke 5,000 subs, I told you guys I was going to do a Q&A. This was a chance to find out your most begging questions that you'd like me to answer. So, let's get to it, shall we? First question, Chicken Man asks, do you like chicken? Actually, yes, it's my favorite protein. I can't go without it. Jack Elliott's question is, what's your sensitivity on X and Y, aim assist, just all of those settings? Okay, so for... 90% of my heroes, it's 80-35 all the way. For my McCree and my Soldier, it's 60-35 because I realize it actually helps with my precision. Uh, but I use Control Freaks, so that's why I go so high nowadays. So you may not want to go as high if you don't have Control Freaks. It Specs asks, will you do a cute spray for all characters grind? That'll be fun to watch. Um, I'm actually not much of an achievement hunter. It's not really my thing. Um, but my interests change over time, so maybe in the future uh, I will be getting into something like that. But right now, just not into it. Red Scott asks, do you ever think about doing competitive videos? Really good videos, by the way. Thank you, sir. Um, if you mean like posting competitive gameplay, um, you're actually seeing one right now. This match actually, on both Sky, both teams just ended up capping both points back to back. Like every time it switched, we just kept capping. So. The, this game actually went to 8 and 6. We eventually won, but 8 and 6 on Volskaya. So yeah, if you're talking about posting competitive gameplay, uh, I do that periodically. Um, if you're talking about, say, competitive guides, like how to climb in competitive, I do have plans for that for sure. I have some big plans for that, so stay tuned. Daniel Wozniak asks, why are you stuck in plat to low diamond? Smiley face. I actually know this kid. Um... He was actually our newest member recently to the Team Reflect. He was our shot caller, and uh, he didn't mesh well with the team. He had a bit of an arrogance issue because he just felt that no one else knew more than him. And um, I know what that's like because when I was younger, I was the same way, and I was, you know, I had some talks with him, telling him, you know, try to steer away from that because people don't like that. But. Um, the reason why I'm stuck in low platinum to diamond is because I have the wrong mindset. And I recently found out I did. What I was doing was I was trying to fill gaps in the comp by playing certain heroes. Um, but the problem is when you do that, you basically, uh, you're, play you're playing those fill roles averagely. And if you're going to play any roles averagely, then you're going to be in the, the rank that you're supposed to be. You, in order to reach masters, you need to play on a master level, and you can't do that if you're constantly switching between all 23 heroes in order to fill a gap. So um, I'm going to go actually make a guide about that and how I climbed from 2800 to 3283 in two days using this new method, this new mindset. Also, I still have some bad habits of um, putting needless damage on tanks and some 1v1s I get a little tunnel vision on so just a couple of little bad habits that you know I, I need to get rid of but for sure I will climb to masters um, may not have time this season because of work but um, I will get there this next person's name I'm going to pronounce uh, JP Hans Pateri did you forget the Xbox's console too no I did not uh, usually when I do a hero guide, I try to reference both PlayStation and Xbox in case I'm suggesting, say, a button layout. But because I'm on PlayStation, I usually tend to reference PlayStation a little more. Uptime OW asks, why do you play on console? Why not PC? I've always been a console player. I've tried PC over the years here and there, and I'm just terrible with keyboard and mouse, so I'm just better with a controller. I do see the changes though. Um, everyone seems to be moving to PC because it's so much more efficient and I, and I get that. Uh, I'm probably going to be the last people to be on console. Like when I switch, if I ever switch to PC for my channel, no one will be upset because all you guys will be on PC already because I'm really going to be the last person to switch. Lemon Juice asks, are you in college? If so, which one? No, I am not in college. I am full-time working. Uh, I did take a few semesters some years ago, but just never went through with it at the community college. Uh, so no, I am not in college. Uh, maybe if I'm able to do YouTube full-time, I'll go back, but really, I need full-time work. 
This actually leads well into the next question by Omar the Flyer. If you get really famous, would you quit your real job and do YouTube full time? I guess that's everyone's, every YouTuber's dream, right? For me, I don't hold on to that expectation wholeheartedly, but I mean, it would be really nice. If the level of income is right um, and it's stable enough, uh, I think I would. I think I think I would wait about six months before making that kind of a decision. But if the income is stable enough, uh, I probably will and be able to post every day rather than a few times a week. Knight of Lightning asks, what plans do you have for your channel? What ideas do you have for new video series? Work that is good. Keep it up. Yoda approved message. Um, I actually do have plans for a new video series. It's actually the team's idea. See, they have some really valuable tips on certain heroes in the roles that they play, uh, such as Winston and Mercy, Anna, that they would like to share with you guys. So um, be sure we're going to be making those and you'll be seeing those very soon. He also asks, one more question, what are your thoughts on cross-platform for Xbox to PlayStation? Um, that is a long-running discussion. I mean, you do have the arguments for exclusive titles and whatnot. Um, I personally, I guess I'd be fine with it. Uh, not fine with the PC to console cross-platform. Uh, as long as they don't do that, I'm fine. Evermore asks, who is the new member for Team Reflect? Well, originally it was Daniel Wozniak from earlier. His name is Skywalker, but he is no longer with the team. Our newest member is Neon, who is a dedicated Ana and Mercy player. His personality meshes a lot better with the team, so we're really glad to have him. Both Alpha Gaming Pro and PC Tiger asked if basically if they had a chance to try out for the team. Uh, currently, our team is full, so we're not taking tryouts. Um, and our sub positions are also full. So currently, we're not taking anyone else on. Paul Frazier asks, can you do a coaching series like Lone Hawk or Unit Lost? Um, I actually would love to do a coaching series. Unfortunately, I barely have time to do chits picks every week. So to do that kind of a series, I would need more time. So perhaps if one day possibly I do go full time YouTube and I'm able to post every day, that's definitely a series I would love to start doing. Zyd asks, hey shit, if you record on my Xbox with the share button, can I still upload it or maybe I can send you straight recording? Um, I do not accept straight files to my email. Um, that runs a huge risk, so I can only accept links. And uh, it has to be a YouTube link. I've tried to download Xbox links before and I've always had problems with them. So if you can get, oh, I don't know how it works on Xbox, but if you can find a way to upload it to YouTube and then send me the link to that video, that's the preferred method. So the last question will be by Faze. He asks, favorite hero and why, least favorite hero and why, and which characters do I have golden guns for? Uh, currently, I only have two golden weapons, and that is for Tracer and McCree. Um, my most favorite hero, I probably have to go with Winston. Uh, he's such an underrated tank, and some people even think like he needs like a damage buff, which would be crazy. And I just love how much tactical knowledge you need to be good with him. And he's such a wonderful tank. And I just feel the most uh, kinship with him. I identify with him the most, I guess, just in terms of play style. And again, he's so underrated, and that's another reason why I like him. So I have a real soft spot for Winston. My least favorite hero, if anyone knows me, knows I hate Hanzo's. <laughs> As a hero, he's very cool. I mean, he's a Japanese archer. He has like the best ultimate voice line in the game, in my opinion, and his ultimate is crazy cool. I, I love him as a character, but mechanically, I think he needs work. I don't like that he's throwing trucks at people's heads, and it doesn't take much, I personally think he doesn't take much skill to do well with, but you're free to disagree with me on that. So Hanzo, yeah, I hate Hanzo's. <laughs> Well, uh, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.